Let's work out the integral of x times square root of 1 minus x to the fourth power. And because we have x to the fourth power right here, this is not really one of these forms yet. So we have to do some change first. And the change is, we can look at this as the integral of x times square root of 1 minus parentheses. Instead of x to the fourth power, let's look at this as x squared and then square dx. And this way, I can do a small u substitution right here, and then you'll see what will happen. That u equals to the inside, which is x squared. That's differentiate both sides. du will be 2x dx, and divide both sides by 2x, we get dx equals to du over 2x. So now we can take this integral into the u world. And we are going to have the integral of x square root 1 minus u square. And then dx is du over 2x. So let's put that down. And as you can see, we're lucky to cancel this x and that x, right? Here we have 1 over 2. Let's take the outside. So we have 1 over 2 right here. And then we have the integral square root 1 minus u square du. And now this integral right here, we can use the first situation you know, to help us out. Because we have the 1 square. Technically, it's like 1 square. That's the same as a square. And then the u square is the same as x square. So now the idea is the integral starting in the x, in the x world. I took it to the u world. And now we have to take this into the theta world and then work it out. To do that, and let's box the, this part right here. I will have to let u, because we're talking about u right here. u is equal to 1 because a is equal to 1. So that's already done. u is equal to 1. So it doesn't really matter to put it down. But then I have to put down the sign theta, of course. And differentiate both sides, we get du equals to cosine, the derivative sign is cosine, and then we have the theta. And let's see. So we take this, that's right on the one half, and put on the integral sign, and then inside we have square root. The one square is just a one, so we put on the one. Minus u square is what? Square here, square here. We have sine square. Sine square theta, and du is the same as cosine theta d theta. So let's put that down. Cosine theta d theta. Okay? And hopefully you have watched uh, you know, these videos already. You see, this right here, 1 minus sine square, we can use that, right? 1 minus sine square is equal to cosine square, and then the usual deal is instead of the square root. So square root of cosine square, I mean, if you like square root of cosine square, of course, that's just regular cosine, but then this is cosine to the first. We have another one right here. Altogether, we have the cosine to the second power. So this is one half integral of cosine square theta d theta, okay? And now the question is, how can we integrate cosine square theta? And the answer is, use the power reduction formula for cosine. The one half states on the outside, and the integral sine states the same because we're not doing any integrals yet. But then for cosine, this is the same as one half times one plus cosine of 2x, no, 2 theta, because we're using theta right here, 2 theta and d theta, okay? And that's the change that I'm making. This is the same as cosine to a second power. <coughs> 1 half, 1 half, of course, that will be 1 over 4. So um, that's what we have. And then we have the integral of 1 plus cosine 2 theta d theta. And I shall make a note right here. Although the number is, this is the one, but I cannot take the one outside. I can only take out a number when it's multiplying with part of the function. Well, I still have to integrate the one, okay? Let's be clear on that. Anyways, um, we can totally work this out. So we are going to get one over four on the very outside. And finally, we are doing integrals. The integral of one in the theta world is theta. Integral of cosine is positive sign, but then we have two theta inside, so together we get plus divided by the two, so we have one half sine of two theta, okay? And we are pretty much done, but then I have to just go back to the x world. But before that, I have to take the theta into u world first, okay? And if you look at u is equal to sine theta, we only know sine of theta, 
we don't know too much about sine of two theta. However, we have a double angle formula for, uh, for the sine. This right here is the same as two sine theta cosine theta. And as you can see, the one half and the two will cancel each other out. And now we're talking about this. We can bring the one fourth into the parentheses, one fourth times theta, and one fourth times, so that's plus, plus one fourth sine theta cosine theta. Okay? And now the question is, what's theta? We know u is equal to sine theta, so let's put that down right here, u is equal to sine theta, and if we apply, if we apply the inverse sign on both sides, we know that theta will be the inverse of u. I mean the inverse sign of u. Okay, the inverse sign of u. And that's the first change. So for the first part, we know we are going to get one fourth inverse sign of u. All right, plus one over four. And now the question is, what's sine theta? Well, luckily, this is just the same as u, so that's good. So we can just put on u right away. Okay, and now the question is what's cosine of theta? And we can look at, uh, let me just use this one for convenience. Um, let me, well, oh, okay, let's look at this one for convenience, okay? Because we know sine theta is equal to u, I can look at the u as u over one. I can draw a right triangle real quick, and then put a right angle here, put the theta here, and then we are talking about u over one. For sine, in the right triangle, we know this is going to be opposite, which is u on the top, over hypotenuse, which we have 1. So we have u over 1 like that. And of course, we can solve for the adjacent side. And based on this picture, you do this square minus that square and take the square root. So the adjacent side is going to be 1 square, which is 1, minus u square, like that. And for cosine theta, we can just look at this picture. Cosine theta means what? adjacent over hypotenuse, which is just that. So we have u times square root of 1 minus u squared. That's for cosine theta. All right. u is what? u is all the way right here. u is equal to x squared. So we can just plug in u is equal to x squared, and we shall be done. And we will be done. Anyways, 1 over 4, and we have the inverse sine of u, and u is x to the fourth, x to the second power. Okay, x to the second power. And then plus 1 over 4, u is once again x to the second power. And then we have the square root, we have the 1, we have the minus. u squared is what? If u is equal to x squared, u squared will be x to the fourth power. So this right here is going to be x to the fourth power. And let me just denote this is because we have x squared and then square. We are done. There's nothing too much we can do. So we can just put plus C and then box the answer right here. And that's it.